A waterfall is one of my favorite ornaments in the world. I have a few, but this is definitely in the top few. Hey fiddlers, welcome to today's fiddle video. If you have ever wondered how to add a little special something to your slow tunes, just some lovely little ornaments like this, or like that, or like this, you've come to the right place. Slow tunes can be played beautifully without ornamentation and actually sometimes I think that's a really good artistic choice just to play the tune as it is and let it speak for itself. But there are a few ornaments that I find myself coming back to over and over again when I'm playing slow tunes that I think really add an awful lot. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune with the ornaments that we're talking about today, you can find a link for that in the description. The tune I'm using to demonstrate these ideas is called Ash Grove. You'll find another link that includes all the sheet music and practice tracks for that tune. It's got a harmony, a chord chart, a variation, all kinds of good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first ornament we're going to add is, I actually don't know what to call this, but Basically what you're doing is you're adding some grace notes. This is what the phrase sounds like without it. And this is what it sounds like with the grace notes. So it's just that little is going from that open D to the third finger and all we're doing is in between those two notes we're adding the first and the second finger so we're going one two and then three to practice it you can play it slowly gradually increase the Here is that phrase with that ornament. So in a slow tune, if you have an open string to a third finger, try throwing in that first and second finger and see what it sounds like. I like to do it all in one bow, but some people might do it in two bows. All right, so that is ornament number one. Let's go on to ornament number two. That's gonna come a little bit later. So after we go, this is where the next ornament comes in. And we're gonna call this, I don't know what we're gonna call this. If you want to be somewhat fancy about it, you could call it an appoggiatura. Here's what the phrase sounds like without that. And here it is with the appoggiatura. So here the tune is doing what it did at the beginning, essentially going from that open D to the third finger. And all we're doing is we're throwing in a second finger and we're dividing the principal note, which would have been that third finger, we're dividing that into equal parts, second finger and third finger. So it's going. So it's not a quick grace note, it's not going. It's. So where you had a quarter note before, it's becoming an eighth note on the second finger, eighth note on the third finger. And then if you wanted to, at the end, you could throw in the same thing we did at the beginning, that little quick series of grace notes. So it'll go. Okay, let's play that phrase one more time just to make sure we've got it. All right, so moving on, we are going to come to the third and final ornament, which many might call a waterfall. A waterfall is one of my favorite ornaments in the world. I have a few, but this is definitely in the top 
few. Here is what the next phrase is gonna sound like without waterfalls. And here it is with waterfalls. a waterfall one might ask you can put a waterfall into a tune when you're going from a note to a note below so for example your low second finger on the A string to the first finger on the A string the waterfall goes in between those two notes so you're going from that second finger quickly to your third finger your second finger and then to the first finger so again in between those two notes you're throwing in a couple grace notes. You're going from this note, your second finger, up, back, and then to the note below. And it goes by super quick. Oops. And the way to practice that again, practice slow, gradually speed up. waterfalls all in one bow it just sounds really smooth and pretty so here's that phrase again if we were to throw in some waterfalls here and in the last phrase let's just throw everything at the tune and see what happens Tura's in there, we had a waterfall, we've got whatever that grace note thing is that we did at the beginning of the tune, and it just all comes together to make it kind of pretty. Okay, let's try playing the entire tune with all of the different things that we did. One, two, three, one, two. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you get a chance to use these ornaments in a tune soon. If you'd like sheet music for the tune as we played it today, you can find a link in the description for that. You'll also find another link for the tune Ash Grove with harmony, another variation, chord chart, and practice tracks, all kinds of good stuff. Have a wonderful day, happy fiddling, and I will see you soon.